Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this file, and they're drawing it. Let's make it blue. And they want this in the same position up here, but backwards, and then rotate it all the way around. They asked me, you know, how instead of just placing it in there manually, how can they do that? Well, I've got it in the center of the page, so hopefully this will work. Because what we're going to do, we're going to, this is all grouped together. So we're going to control D and make a duplicate. And then we're going to mirror it. And then start moving it and hold down the control button to get it in about the right spot. And then I would maybe check some things to see if it's right. And then it is a group, so we're going to select that and hold down the shift key and select that and then control G and make a group of it. Now we're gonna make a duplicate of that, control D and move the center rotation to the center of the page. And this is why I draw in the center of the page. Sometimes it doesn't look like it is, but it is. And then we just have to rotate it 90 degrees. Control D, rotate it 180 degrees and control D. Now you have that exact object in all the same places. And what we can do, we can move this out of the way and select all these and make them, I'm gonna left click black. And it's an RGB black and this is an RGB, well, this is actually not. So if you're gonna engrave that, I'd make it an RGB black. That's a pretty cool design. Uh, one thing, uh, I think they borrowed this from clip art uh, you could select that and use it for a lot of things, and we'll just go over that real quick. Let's uh, let's control U, which is object, group, and ungroup, and let's grab that item. You know, see, it's not all one group. So let's do this. Let's take our freehand pick tool, which is right underneath your pick tool, and basically it's a freehand lasso. And you can go through there. And then all I would do is control G and group it. And then control D and make a duplicate and put it back. Now you have that flower design for the other things you could do. It's a pretty cool design. Then you could take your pick tool and, you know, rotate it like that. Get it even, or virtually even. And one thing you can always do on something like that, if you want that perpendicular, is bring down an indexing line and it'll snap to it, and you can see we're quite a bit different. So what I would do is double click your rotation and put your center rotation about right in there, and then you can rotate this up real slow, and then it ought to be even. And then you could do a lot with this. You could uh, left click, right click, and I would, it's a hairline, but it's so small. Control D and make a duplicate while holding down the control button, move it perfectly up. And then let's change our nudge factor. Let's see how big this is. It's less than two points. So let's make it 0 0.01 and just nudge this down a little bit. Take this and weld it. And now you have a completely di different design. The, the hairlines are so thick, uh, it'll be a lot better if we made it, you know, a good size. And then you could see, you could smart fill that in. And well, you'd have to, well, you could do two things. We could just grab it all and left click black, right click no outline. And you, now you've got a completely different flower design. And you could keep doing that forever. But anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.